Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. we got another week and another invasion, and this week we went back to Kingdom 36 because people are getting really good about sending me line messages and other kinds of messages saying, hey, there's a bunch of people invading our kingdom right now. And if that happens to you next weekend, let me know. It's more fun whenever there's a lot of action for us and for my alliance and for me specifically. So if you get a lot of invaders in your kingdom, send me a line message. My uh, ID is in the description of this video. Send me a line message, let me know. So there were a lot of people in Kingdom 36 this week, and so we decided to go check it out. And this week we went and we are going to run some rallies into some larger players, like uh, 2 to 5 billion, somewhere in that range. Uh, there aren't really any really, really big players that show up until the very end, whenever Tess shows up. So I would say 50 billion kind of uh, applies as a large account. And Tess will go on a rampage at the end and solo everybody. So... Watch if you want to see that, or fast forward, and until then, what we're doing now is I went to Kingdom 36, popping all my boosts, and now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start rallying these guys. You see there's uh, somebody from PSY and K9 who just merged with K11, that's that's an old K11 alliance, you might recognize that tag because they beat us in every single Blood Moon KVK, and so I figure this guy is probably a trap. So I'm looking at him, I'm looking around for other targets, and Kingdom 36 Kingdom Chat is really good about letting us know where all the targets are. So if we do come to your kingdom, let us know. If you want to see the action, post the cords in chat. Everybody can track it. So you saw Kingdom Chat and Kingdom 36 tracking them. Video's going really fast right now because it was boring while I was just looking at who I wanted to hit. But now I ported off screen to hit this guy. And I did that because I don't want to scare him away. Lots of players will take a solo, not many will take a rally. So... Generally speaking, when I'm setting a rally, unless I know that they want to take it, I'll do this, and I'll set from far away. So you see how I'm up off screen? So if he's just looking into screen right now, he didn't see our entire little rally pod port in. And at this point, we've got several members of my alliance here, and still waiting on them to fill, and you'll see me start to get a little bit snippy and chat about it, saying, <laughs> fill, 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 fill. But that's why we're off screen right now. So he's got the line, so he knows something's going on if he's paying attention, and Generally speaking, we want this to go a lot faster. We want to get that rally set and marched, and we want to do it in like 15 seconds or less, as quickly as possible. So if you fill a rally from far away, make sure you're speeding your stuff in. As you can see, we're not even full yet. And as you can see, I'm being very annoying in Alliance chat, trying to get it full. But it is what it is. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Sometimes you see my rally size is small because I set it in my solo preset like a noob. And C2 gets it filled, and now we're going to march and see how we do on hitting this guy right here. So march from far away. You see our little rally crew there. Speed, 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 speed. And let's see how it goes. You see he's got captured prisoners, and now he no longer has captured prisoners. Go running. Let's see how the hit went. So killed 10 million, 10 million troops. Lost about uh, a little bit less than half our rally, which is pretty good. He didn't kill all our stuff. But now we're looking at boosts to see what he has. And you see, enemy troop attack debuff was 578%. That means he's wearing Guardian. So we want to keep hitting this guy. That's why he didn't do much damage to us. But he does have a big old siege stack. Now, I don't hit as hard as some other people in my alliance. They've out-researched me at this point. So you'll see in a second, he's got 42 million siege to start with. I killed 10 million of them. And I know that he's wearing Guardian gear, so I know that if one of our really well-researched accounts, like Come to Get You right there, sets a rally... It'll be good. Also, I look and I see that Tier 4 troops did damage. So, the fact that Tier 4 troops did damage, as I'm writing out right now, means that we can zero this guy using T4, which is much, much, much cheaper. So, because of that, now I want C2 come to get you to set a rally. He's got a lot higher research than I do at this point. And I told him to set a T4 rally. That way, all of our rally, uh, rally fillers can participate. And it's a lot cheaper to revive. Even with the cheaper T5 revive cost, it's still kind of expensive to uh, rally these people if you're losing a whole bunch of them. So C2 sets a rally on him, all T4. I check and take, make sure what type it is, and it's all archers. So now you see the rally fills going up. We're all ready to go at this point. You see Zoot's only filling 100,000 troops. And the reason that Zoot's only filling 100,000 troops is because he is doing what we've talked about in the past, which is hospital trapping. So he's only got enough troops to fill his hospitals. That way, if somebody big does come along, as you'll see here in a few minutes, like Tess, come along, solo zero him, it's not a big deal. All of his stuff goes to hospitals. So that guy got the hell out of Dodge whenever he saw another rally coming his way. It was uh, full tier four, so it probably wouldn't have hit as hard as the first one, but we would have been able to do a lot more, and we would have been able to start machine gunning him in. So I'm going to teleport over, and I'm going to scout this guy right here who's holding the uh, capital. At, well, he's next to the capital at this point. 
You see that Anti Scout failed. He's about three and a half billion. So I'm not really sure if I want to hit this one, but you see the PSY trap ports in next to us. And as I said, obviously a trap because now he wants a hit. You see there, PSY boy wants a hit. And that means that if they want to get hit, you generally don't want to hit them. But around that size, 2 billion, 3 billion, if it's not during Blood Moon, you'll pretty frequently get what you want if you come and you're trying to act like you want to get a hit uh, when we're invading. Because we want to get those kills, we want to get to the Dark Lord chests. So you see C2's here, Dizzle's coming now, they're both higher than me on research. So I'm linking the cord saying, hey, set a rally on this guy. Because the fact of the matter is, they've got better research than me, so they're going to do more uh, damage. See Dizzle ports in, got the uh, notification that C2 set a rally, check the troop info. All tier five archers. So, gonna fill the tier five with my massive amount of 2,733 tier six archers as well. And we're gonna see how this hit goes on this two and a half billion that is obviously wanting to try his hand at rally trapping. Uh, C2 gets filled up pretty quickly. My, We've got a lot more fillers here now. As you can see, there's uh, five or six of us. And as I say in chat here, I'm gonna drop my march size. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because whenever we've got a lot of players that all want to fill rallies, it's better to drop your march size. Split the troop loss up amongst everybody. Make sure everybody gets to play. So, because we have so many fillers here now, I theoretically am going to drop my march size the next time I fill rally. That way, everybody can go. So, I let C2 know that his rally is full and it's good. He can launch it whenever using instant. And he's going to launch it in just a second. And you see that Loopy is also holding heroes right here. So, you'll get a pretty quick indicator of how the rally goes. And I link the other 3.5 bill and tell Dizzle to set a rally on that one. And usually we're leading with archers nowadays because there's a lot of infantry tier tier 2 traps if they're not siege. So you see this hit? Not ready. Almost got him zeroed. Uh, only 6 million troops left. C2 hit him pretty damn hard. And look at what kind of gear he had on. That's what I'm checking right now. It's just so I can kind of get some information on this. See, 313% troop HP. Tells me he's wearing uh, Rainbow Dark Lord at the very least. Maybe a little bit of Guardian, something like that. But you see, we got all the way up into his tier four troops. So he needed to, he needs to get some more troops. That's the bottom line. The reason we hit him that hard is because he only had 22 million troops. Also, his gear isn't as strong as it needs to be. If he wants to take a rally like that, he needs to build a lot more siege if he's going to be using that kind of gear. And sorry to all the rally leads out there, but that's just the way that it is now is if people don't have a strong gear, they need to build a lot more siege and your rallies are going to hit a lot less softly. So now we're sitting here kind of staring at each other, figuring out if we're going to hit this 3.5 bill. And I go back to KC, say any more invaders, looking for more people to hit. Uh, SRB continuously crafts legendary gear in Alliance chat for this entire duration. I guess while he while we're invading, he is crafting legendary gear. Dizzle sets a rally on the 3.5 bill. You see it's all archers again. Again, we're leading with archers in order to try to combat the single type infantry traps that are popping up all over the place. But as you can see now, I'm down to tier 4 troops. I've got some tier 5, but mainly tier 4. Against a 3.5 bill, castle level 30, I figure that's probably not going to be good. I'm probably just going to be tossing those tier 4 troops into the wood chipper because he's probably got enough tier 5 to defend against them. And as you see, I'm an asshole and I forgot to drop my march size, so there's only a few fillers. And it's extra bad this time because most of my troops were tier 4. So another filler getting tier 5 in there means that we would have hit harder. Um, and as you see, Dizzle has a very large march, almost 4 million. So now I go in, and I'm speeding everything in, and I'm going to go tell Dizzle, hey, you're, you're good to go. Let's uh, launch the rally and see how it goes. And I have a lot more fun whenever we're playing as a rally team, whenever it's a group of us all teamwork, everybody's filling the rally, everybody's splitting up the troop loss. It's not one person that's just dumping solo troops into something, into a target. And it's a lot more fun, makes the game more fun for everybody because everybody's getting to play as a team. A lot of people want to take rallies. I'm grateful for Kingdom 36 because these guys are actually taking rallies. And you can find out why this one took a rally in just a second. See, the heroes go flying. We won the battle, but that was an ugly hit. We only killed 8.7 million troops. He had 65 million left. And let's look at why. Right there. 1034 troop attack. That means he's got pretty good Dark Lord gear. At least full immortal, probably a couple upgrades on it as well. And let's look at his uh, troop layout. You see all these tier 5 and tier 6 troops that we lost. Killed the infantry that he had. Scroll down, and he has a siege stack going as well. So he's got decent Dark Lord gear. He's got 65 million troops, and he's got 20 million siege left. So we don't really want to zero this one. 
if we were going to zero this one, the only the only reason I would want to zero this guy would be if he was burning to tier four. That report says that he's not going to burn to tier four. So it's going to take a lot of T5 and T6 to get through that guy. If we were to send a full T6 rally, it probably would have hit a lot harder. But we're also still going to lose all of those tier six. So it's going to hurt. Also, we can't track him at this point because we've lost our tracker. And that guy was actually Kingdom 36. He wasn't an invader. So they're not really uh, happy to share the cords on that one. As you can see, my excellent analysis in Alliance chat. Not great. Dark Lord with Siege. Strange that everybody's doing that. And it's uh, working pretty well, as you can see there. So, moving forward in this invasion, now we're just going to uh, keep looking around. You see that hit right there. I'm checking the report again. Seeing how uh, it all went down. And now, in just a second, we're going to have a 50 billion visitor come join Kingdom 36. And things are going to get a little more exciting at that point. Uh, right now, I'm happy that we had three people that took a rally. Uh, one of them went okay, one of them went really well, and one of them went poorly. And so I go back to Kingdom Chat, and I'm asking if there are any more invaders. K36 is rather silent at this point, because I believe now, whenever we port in, most folks will uh, start to bounce out. We found that out last weekend, whenever there were like 10 invaders all at once, and they got the rally notif or I'm sorry, the Kingdom notification, like that right there, saying Sites is ported in. And you see me in Alliance Chat saying, get the hell out of here, run home, go. Because most of our guys here are going to be soloable by Sites and gals, as you'll find out in a minute. Me and Dizzle and C2 are big enough that we're fairly confident that uh, even if she does hit us, it's going to, it it might hurt, but we, most of us want to test at this point. And we know that Tess hits really hard, but I also know that I can take a hit from her at this point. So I'm not going to run away immediately. Also, I was talking to her online and said, hey, uh, you, you just poured it in. Are you going to hit us? And as you'll see in a minute, yeah, she's going to hit us. That's Papa Smurf there. And there's what I was talking about, Zoot. 1.4 million troops is all he has. That's how many hospital beds he has. So Tess hits him, immediately zeroes him, but it's okay because he just starts healing him back up again, and it's fine. Uh, he didn't kill any of her troops, so it was actually not bad on either side. See Tess go and hit Smurf there. I'd been leaving him alone because he's in uh, my line channel, and I didn't really want to hit a friend. So I teleport next to where Papa Smurf was, and you're going to see here in just a second, I'm going to hit Tess, and she's going to hit me. Here comes her hit. One Battlefront Destroyer to his Valiant Death, and I send another march back at her, which is one Tier 2 Siege with my hero, so now she's holding my hero as well. Uh, I got to switch to the other Castle skin, obviously, because now I'm going to be defending instead of attacking. If my Castle skin's black, I'm attacking. If it's this one, I'm defending. So remember that. If you see me with a black Castle skin, then uh, watch out. I might try to hit you. If you see me this with this one, probably don't hit me. And that's just kind of something goofy that I do back and forth because I spent all the damn gold on those skins, so I might as well use them. As you can see, um, I'm now writing that out in chat. But Tess is sitting here, and she is going to be hitting some uh, a few people now and then. I don't think that Tess is going to hit me because she's done it in the past. It doesn't work very well. So you see somebody else teleports into the kingdom. And we just got a kingdom invasion notice. I guess he saw online that we were here. He decided to come join the party. So now I'm typing in his cords. Trying to see uh, if I can go get a hit on him. And he's 2.5 bills, so yeah, I'm going to try it out. And there's a dragon. And there is a hit for a lot. So he ports in, gets hits for 37 million troops, ports out. So thanks for making an appearance. See you later, bud. And Tess, as you can see, just wrecked that guy from across the map as soon as he teleported in. So try to uh, make sure that you know who's in the kingdom that you're porting to before you uh, do it. You might get a nasty surprise like he just did. And now you're going to see a lot of people are going to start teleporting around where we are. Everybody's shielded except for me and Dizzle and Zoot and C2 and Tess. But it's going to start filling up quite a bit. And you see my alliance saying, holy shit, you capped Tess. And I'm like, nah, it was a, it was a one troop. It wasn't a big deal. But now we're just kind of sitting here staring at each other. Tess doesn't want to hit me because she knows that I've got a lot of Siege and a lot of Dark Lord. I don't want to hit Tess because she's friggin' huge. Zoot zeroed, and now is whenever the party begins. You see various people all teleporting all around us to uh, watch the fight, if there is a fight. And you see that I say that they're swarming us, and every time I look at the kingdom map, more people arrive. So, now it's kind of boring. We're just sitting here staring at each other. You see C2's unshielded there, Zoot's unshielded. Dizzle's off killing pumpkins, I think, because the pumpkin event's going on. 
And I'm just looking around for people that uh, might drop shields to try to get hit. With Tess here, the uh, shields go up a lot faster. There's a lot of shields that go up whenever we come in, but whenever a Tess or a Mobius or a South Boy or somebody like that shows up, it goes up really fast. So as you can see, we're throwing a big old party with a whole lot of uh, Ivory Castle skins, Ebony Castle skins. And here's C2's hit from Tess. She sold him. 6.7 million troops killed. You see that... Uh, he had 469 troop HP. If you scroll all the way down, though, let's look at what gear he was wearing. 973% enemy troop attack debuff. That means he's wearing level 15 guardian. That's a lot of troop attack debuff. So scroll down. He had 13 million siege. Troop count's pretty low, but he actually did very well, considering he's wearing guardian, and he has such a low troop count. And that's what C2 does, is he uh, dumps all of his resources into research and just rolls around with minimal troops, as PSY found out in the last Blood Moon. But, so now I'm uh, bored and I need kills for this stupid event. So I'm going to teleport around and I'm going to start just uh, hitting random bases trying to get some kills. But you're going to see something pretty important that happens here in just a minute. And it's a little bit, uh, kind of a, a bit of foreshadowing here in just a second. As you can see, I'm looking around, looking for cords. Up there at the top of the screen, deployal troop size, troop attack expired, troop defense expired, troop health expired. All my buffs drop, but I'm a cocky asshole. And I think Tess isn't going to hit me because she knows that I've got a lot of Siege and I've got a lot of Dark Lord. And I was just sitting next to her and she didn't hit me. And I was talking to her online and I didn't think it was going to happen. As soon as my boosts dropped, though, guess what happens? Surprise, bake, so Tess attacked you. And let's see how it went. I'm on fire, so not well. So literally seconds after my boots drop, I get hit. And I get hit for about the same amount that C2 did, even though I've got 150 million troops. And the reason for that is because of the boosts. Boosts are a big deal. If you are invading, if you are battling, if you're in Blood Moon, don't be a cheap ass like me. I should have at least put 20 percenters back on. Those 100% boosts make up a very, very large difference. Even with my level of Dark Lord, 100% defense and 100% HP is still like an additional 15 to 20% of my total HP. So... I need to not be a cheapskate. I need to keep those boosts up, especially when there are dangerous people in the kingdom like Tess. So let this be a lesson to everyone. Even if you think you're a badass, like obviously I do, somebody's going to show you that you're not. And if you're a cheapskate, it's going to hurt. So let's go look at the temple and see the new revive cost. I look at this. It's going to cost me 11.5 million revive herbs to revive those. I've got 600,000 revive herbs, so I don't think that's going to get the job done. Uh, funny story, I used about 80 million Revive Herbs, I think, maybe 160 million Revive Herbs, uh, the day before they reduced the Tier 5 price reduction. So I got about a third of the Tier 5 back that I could have, and I honestly didn't think I was going to get hit here, so I didn't save any Revive Herbs for those Siege. But all in all, the Revive cost is a lot lower. We can Revive these Tier 5 a lot lower, and we can Revive those, obviously, T2 Siege for cheap as hell. That's why we do the Tier 2 Siege stack. And you see here, Zoot, with his uh, hospital trap, is able to find some kills. I didn't find enough kills to get up to the Dark Lord chests this week, even though we hit three rallies, and I took a rally, or I'm sorry, a solo from Tess. You see me giving great words of encouragement to Zoot there. And in just a second, Tess is going to hit C2 again, and we're going to check out the difference between the two hits on Come to Get You. One of them she sent a dragon, one of them she didn't send a dragon. And there is a fairly large difference in the two hits. As we'll see whenever we look at these two reports in just a second. And uh, just to, there it is right there. 7.5 million troops were killed uh, around there. Maybe even 8.5. I'm not sure. But either way, that was the first one. Went a lot worse. Yeah, so that's 8.5 million troops on the first hit with the dragon. Three and a half went to the hospitals. 4.9 were dead from the start. And that was with the higher siege count. So it should have been a better hit anyways. But because the dragon came, killed 8.5 million hits that time. The second time, without the dragon... Only killed six and a half million troops. And that's why I say I'm pretty sure that I can hold up to a rally, but not a solo from uh, one of these players that has the Dragon Tree Max like Tess does. Because a solo hits so much harder with that damn dragon. If you send a rally, you can't send the dragon, so you don't get all that uh, extra boosts. And also, if I'm not a dipshit and I pop my boosts, then I'll do a lot better there. So I port home, say thanks to K36, and thank you again, Kingdom36, for letting us know that there are invaders there. It was a lot of fun. Other people, give me a like, 
Give me a follow. Hit me up online if you want to add to the room. And if there are people invading your kingdom next week, send me a message. Let me know. Tell me their powers. Maybe we'll come see you.